Breaking news, Marcus Conti reporting, Tulsi Gabbard gets stabbed in the back by none other than Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Hillary Clinton has peeked her ugly head out of her cave and attacked Tulsi Gabbard, the good congresswoman from, from Hawaii, for being a Russian troll, a Russian asset, a tool, a tool of the Russian government. Wait till you hear this shit, right? So... Clinton says Russia is grooming Gabbard to be a third-party candidate. Ooh. Tulsi Gabbard fired back, too. We'll see. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. Calling, calling her the queen of the warmongers. So former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said in a podcast interview that Russia sees Democratic uh, rep Tulsi Gabbard as a potential third-party candidate who could spoil the 2020 presidential election for Democrats. Ooh, Hillary Clinton pulling the the spoiler card. Oh my god, on Tulsi Gabbard. Fucking Tulsi's tough. Tulsi t- Tulsi Gabbard's tough. Tulsi could lead the Green Party, right? Tulsi, is that what you're thinking? You're leading the Green Party? After the Democrats stick you in the back? See, that's what Bernie Sanders should have done. Hopefully Tulsi Gabbard will do it. So Clinton, the 2016 Democratic nominee, made the comment on a podcast with Dave Pluff. Dave Pluff was the uh, Obama guy, Obama's uh, 2008 campaign manager. Clinton said that one one tool Russians could use to interfere in the 2020 presidential election and aid Trump, President Trump, is boosting a third-party spoiler. <laughs> so here's Hillary Clinton calling, uh, in one sentence, calling Tulsi Gabbard a Russian tool and a spoiler. Oh, fucking, those are fighting words, Tulsi. You better get your, get off your ass. Or you already did because we're going to read your, quit, your tweet. Clinton said that one of the, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> while Clinton did not mention Gabbard by name, but she made a clear reference to the Hawaiian congressman. She went on to, her one of her staff members confirmed that she was talking about Tulsi Gabbard. So there's no, no confusion there. Clinton also mentioned Jill Stein, the third party nominee in 2016, as another American politician favored by Russia. <laughs> favored by Russia. With no evidence. Because they go on uh, uh, RT, the RT network, Russian television, which is an American-owned company. That's the only connection. Uh, RT being fair and, and uh, non-biased as opposed to our paid uh, pay-for-play media that isn't fair or unbiased. So that's the only connection that, um, that the Democrats and Clinton ever seem to come up with, that Jill Stein, uh, uh, RT, is friendly with, uh, <laughs> with, with these candidates. <clears throat> I'm not making any predictions, but I think they're, they've got their eye on someone who's currently in the Democratic Party, and they're grooming her to be the third-party candidate. Clinton said in an interview with Pluff's uh, campaign headquarter, uh, headquarters podcast, quote, she's the favorite of the Russians. They have a bunch of sites and bots and other ways of supporting her so far, and that's assuming Jill Stein will give it up because she's a Russian asset. Also, it's just like psychotic Hillary Clinton-esque, right? The problem is that, that nobody believes, I don't think anybody any sane person believes that Tulsi Gabbard is is only polling at one percent. The polls are rigged, skewed, fake, pay for play. The current polls, American polls, are pay for play, and the <clears throat> idea that Tulsi Gabbard is polling and less popular than someone like Cory Booker or or Amy Klobuchar or fucking you know one of the other shit sandwiches is ridiculous. Tulsi Gabbard is wildly popular in America, probably polling around 8 or 10%, in my view, anyway. If you poll the right people, maybe more. <clears throat> right. So Clinton spokesman uh, Nick Merrill confirmed that the former Secretary of State was referring to Gabbard. Gabbard, who has previously said she would not run as a third-party candidate, fired back. Now, this is good. Listen to this, Listen to this exchange. Listen to this exchange. Hillary Clinton, Gabbard tweeted... You, the queen of warmongers, embedment in embodiment of corruption and personification of the rot that has sickened the Democratic Party for so long, have finally come out of hiding from hiding behind the curtain. 
<laughs> the embody let's in, let's let's savor that the embodiment of corruption the queen of warmongering the personification of the rot that has sickened the democratic party for so long finally pokes her head out from behind the curtain oh man fucking Tulsi Gabbard from the day I announced my candidacy, there has been a concerted campaign to destroy my reputation. We wondered who was behind it and why, and now we know it was you, through your proxies and powerful allies in the corporate media and war machine, afraid of the threat I pose. Wow. It's now clear that this primary is between you and me. Wow, Gabber continued, don't cowardly hide behind your proxies. Join the race directly. Damn, damn, see, that's the kind of language you need. Tulsi Gabbard's rocking the house right here. Gabbard is frequently mentioned in Russian, this is political speaking now, giving it, giving it a slant. Gabbard is frequently mentioned in Russian propaganda and media, including, including by RT. RT is not Russian propaganda. It's a it's an American owned company. Lee Camp is on uh, RT. They they have crosstalk. That show crosstalk. It's an American program. The news agency backed by the Kremlin. Yeah, it's no more backed by the Kremlin than than CNN is backed by you know Washington. Uh, it's the same thing. I don't I don't fucking know. But RT is a great, great network. Don't, don't disclaim it. That's Politico taking a shot. And she has been criticized for foreign policy views that some say are aligned too closely with Russia. That's all bullshit. That's all bullshit. The Putin puppet, Syrian puppet. So, pow, Tulsi Gabbard, pounding, pounding. You are the queen of war mongers, pounding fucking Hillary Clinton. Uh, embodiment of corruption, personification of the rot that has sickened the Democratic Party for so long have finally come out from behind the curtain. From the day I mentioned, oh, man, this is so good. This is so good. So Tulsi Gabbard really, really coming out of herself, right? What a stab in the back. Fuck you, Hillary Clinton. Fucking monster, right? What a monster, right? To, to Does she believe it? Does Hillary Clinton and the Democrats believe that uh, Tulsi Gabbard is a Russian asset? Well, I mean, I don't think so. I think that, you know, that uh, it's widely now acknowledged that Russiagate was a scam. It was a ripoff. It was a way to cover for the Democrats getting caught cheated. But now they're still cheating. And now they're still doubling down, doubling down, accusing the good Tulsi Gabbard of being a Russian bot, a Russian agent, a Russian asset. So we shall see. I think it's a, it's a, now the, the, uh, they've opened the door, um, declared war on Tulsi Gabbard, and have opened the door for Tulsi Gabbard to make that third party run. Now, could would she be a better candidate than Jill Stein for the Green Party? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Tulsi Gabbard has a, a real grassroots uh, uh, audience. I, I believe more so than Jill Stein. Jill Stein, I don't think, is a great candidate. Um, to lead the Green Party. So let's see. I mean, if that's her idea, if that's what Tulsi Gabbard decides to do, when, not if the Democrats stick a knife in her back, when they completely, they've already got the knife in her back, and, and when they stop wiggling the fucking thing in her back, and Tulsi Gabbard finally walks away, uh, maybe Tulsi will uh, make that third party run and make, uh, make the prediction a reality. Hey, what the hell? So fuck you, Hillary Clinton. Fuck you very much, and uh, kudos to um, to uh, Tulsi Gabbard for uh, fighting back via Twitter. Twitter, get busy, get busy, <laughs> get busy, Tulsi. They're not going to let you go. Marcus Conte reporting.